Hello, it is I, the gamer that overthinks. Today we're playing... Bone. Oh, crap, I forgot my webcam. Hold up. This is Backbone. Played this in one of my first videos on this channel. We just played the prologue. This just came out not too long ago. So we're going to be picking up from where we left off, finishing this game. Here we go. Cool thing about it is, if you played the prologue, you can just continue from where you left off on the prologue. So, we're about going to the prologue again. I remember from last time, he had just seen horrible shit, I recall. They were cannibalizing their meat or whatever. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, they were butchering him. To dispose of the body or something worse than that? Is the bite serving people's flesh? They're dismembering dis dismembering corpses and putting them in boxes. I've heard stories about ritualistic cannibals in the past. Fuck. Every time I close my eyes, I see him laying there. What the fuck am I going to do? This is so, so fucked. Uh, I gotta do something. What the fuck can I do on my own? I have to stop anyone else being butchered like that. Great idea. Just ask Clarissa Bloodworth nicely. I'm sure she'll understand my concern. We can go back, get some evidence. Lucky to make it out alive for the first time. Not going back in there. I can't. Might be the most important case I've ever had, but is it worth the risk? What am I going to tell Odette about the truth? Tell her he ran off with someone else, drag it out, say that I'm still looking for him. Well, um, hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't want to lie. <sighs> say that I'm still looking for him. I I'm going to drag it out. I have no idea why he was killed. Maybe I'll find her some proper answers. Or just call her and wing it. It's for the best that he's gone. Why, Jez, what did he do? Could he have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time? What if he's not the first? How many people has Bloodworth killed? Impossible to know for sure. Maybe I don't even want to know. Just tell the police. Is that really going to work? Or would I even tell them? Hi, right, broken private property. I'd like to report a butchering. The rest are trespassing. Ignore the rest. The bastards hate unsolved murderers. They bury the case in red tape. Yeah, I don't want to answer the question they'd ask me. Blood would probably have some sort of immunity. No way she's doing something like this without someone high up covering for her. The police are out of the question. Think how I think. I have no clue what to do. I'm useless. Why me? Fuck this. Maybe if I drink enough, I'll figure. I'll forget about it. Uh, yeah, I just want this day to be over. Fuck this. I have to get the controls. Fuck. Yeah? Okay. Figure out what to do with my life. Oh, I'm there with you. Alright, let's say you do that. Okay. Uh, what's this way? Remember the Great Fire. Great Fire was before my parents' time. Burned up bridges, whole districts destroyed in the war. Shit, maybe we deserve to burn. What do these symbols mean? They look deliberate, not just mindless vandalism. Figure with their tail chopped off. Weird. Interesting. I write down these symbols. Okay. I'm gonna write those down just in case. All right. Guess I'll die here. What a present. Looney, you really necked that juice, friendo. Rough night. Uh, more than I thought possible. Wow, that bad, huh? You wouldn't understand. I don't need to, I guess. You're so chill when the world is so fucked. Damn right, no one does. I just don't know what to do. Yeah. Always has been, eh? Well, with the club, I guess. Eh, can I ask you something? Sure, as long as you take it nice and easy. I got a calm spot going here. How'd you end up here? Got injured at work. They let me go. They just gave up? Giving up is a choice. I didn't choose this. What was your line of work? Or the big print work? It's down in Gastown. Uh, do you miss it? Listen, friend, Osiris is a cheap trick. Better get out before it makes you a complete sucker. I'm no sucker. You're young, a decent kind. You got a tie. You probably think you got options. I don't know what I am. Thanks for listening to Washed Up Guys Ramblings. If we ever end up under the bridge together, we'll drink and cry the night away. Well, what's wrong with doing it now? Ha! Ah, it's not the right vibe. I'm not staying here long anyway. I gotta get moving. See those symbols on the plaque? Yeah, I've seen them. Those are streaky symbols. Not drawn by me, mind you. You know what they mean? More or less. Most of them are dumb tags or simple messages. You have a special language? Sure, it helps us look out for each other. What do the ones in the plaque mean? 
That is not safe here. You better watch yourself. Not sure whether a stick figure with no tail might be some cult shit. Cole, the New Dawn Fellowship? No, it wouldn't be them. I think someone less dangerous, but more religious. Almighty shepherd deniers, perhaps. Can you blame him? One holy dude made all of us, but loved apes the best. Fucking bullshit. Deny anything. All organized religion is dangerous. Um, all organized religion is, religion is dangerous. Ain't that simple. Even cults have their upsides. We all need companionship. It's something to believe in. I guess I can see the logic. Human people need different things. All there is to it. I'm not sure what I need. I don't want to get into it, friend, though. I had a day to deal with. To me, though. Harsh your vibe. My name is Howard, by the way. My name is Looney. Pleasure to meet you. You too. Always nice to pass time with a new face. I'm going to go. Bye. Anyways, let's, uh... Wishing well. Someone has been using this as a public toilet. I'm not sure flipping a coin would help. Has some has that same herbal sink to it. That uh, no. Hey, pussy boy, let's have a little chat. That's the chase. Just want a friendly chit chat. Got any loons for your new friends? Oh, fuck off. Say that again. Come on. That's not exactly great conversationalist. You what, mate? You heard me. The fuck, you disrespecting me? You're ugly, boring, and you're in my way. Someone to be pussy boy? I just want to go home. Your mom's must be nice. I'm coming with you then. No, oh, well done. That's such a clever joke. I and mean, take your money without doing the work. Go smarter and you know, buckle up, bitch. Get fucked. Okay, Howard Lauder, we're safe here. You can relax. Are you sure no one followed us? I'm sure. Let's talk. Why would I tell you anything? Because you might want the same things? Fine, I'll start us off. Go ahead. I'm a writer. I've been researching Clarissa Bloodworth for a book on power influence I'm working on. Research and Bloodworth. She's really the most unofficially powerful person in the city. Since she took over as head of her family, she's been expanding. New drugs, high-profile visitors to the bite, and more. So you're an expert on Clarissa? Say that. Never talked to her directly, and you have. What's she like up close? Uh, smart. She can see right through me. Yeah, that's my impression, too. She wouldn't get that far without knowing how to read people and their intentions. Is she pushing drugs? Specifically, monkey butt. And incredibly potent, super addictive. She serves the clean variety at the bite, and the shittier version is turning up on the streets. The stupid fucking name. I think it's smart. It makes you giggle. You tell your friends, and they're curious. Boom. It loosens up the tongue. So for someone like Bloodworth, it could serve a purpose. What kind of visitor are you talking about? You know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have been seen there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, even apes. I've been up there. I'm guessing you weren't invited. Bloodworth is getting some powerful regulars. No such thing as simple drinking with those kind of folks. Move on. Uh, who are you working for? Myself. As for my funding, there's a guy. A rich, important asshole. It's an ego trip for him. But he knows I don't like being told what to do. Who's the guy? The name would mean anything to you. But he thinks the books will make him look good. And dish the dirt on his rivals. And are you going to make him look good? No. Trick will be letting him believe that I have. i tell you more about the book. I'm studying different forms of power, investigating who really holds the most influence in the city. And what's that going to accomplish? People can't remake society if they don't realize it's broken. How'd you find me at the park? Well, I left the bite just after you got kicked out. Saw you running around. I wonder what madness you were up to. Yeah, I was pretty hot under the collar. Anyway, staked out the back alley just in case. Twenty minutes later, bingo. A puking raccoon. I'm glad you enjoyed the show. And I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why I let you drink that whole bottle first. I hope it was worth it. It's up to you. Why am I here? What do you want from me? First, I want you to trust me like I trusted you just now. What did you find at the bite? I don't want to get anyone else wrapped in this. Wouldn't it feel nice to share the burden with somebody? You wouldn't believe me anyway. Here to listen, I can help. What did you find? A long story. Start from the beginning. On our way here, you told me you're a PI. What led you to the bite in the first place? My case. What's the case? Fine, confidentiality. Are you serious right now? I share some sensitive information with you. Do me the courtesy of trusting me, Howard. I do, just not with everything. Well, that hurts. I just wish you would tell me the whole truth. Please continue. I got into the bite. 
met Clarissa. She threw me out. Yeah, what did you say to her? She had a small talk. She thought I was lying. Hmm, so what? You got back in somehow? Yes, and that's when I found a dead body. What? Where? In the bite's basement. They were cutting my target up into pieces. What the fuck? Got him like a fish. I saw boxes of flesh. It wasn't just the one body. Are you fucking joking? I'm not much of a joker. Let me get this straight. Bloodworth is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then putting them in the boxes? Hence the puking. Let me put killing people past her. But this? Why? How the fuck would I know? I thought you were a detective. Never mind. Didn't ask for this. Not a fucking murder detective. Okay, wow. It really was an eventful night for you. What are you going to do now? Gotta get my shit together. Exactly. Then what's our plan? This one is an hour plan. I don't know about you. I'm going to sleep. Out of denial. How cute. If I didn't follow you to this city all night for nothing. I have a proposition. What is it? I want to invite you on an adventure. Can you be more specific? Work with me. Let's find the truth about Bloodworth. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. She is, but what could we do? I never had a partner before. My gut feeling says I can trust you. You found something that I couldn't, and you owe me one. I don't owe you anything. Yes, you do. Just imagine doing your thing while I work behind the scenes. Teamwork. Also, I'll pay you. How much? More than a private detective makes. I'm smart and know her modus operandi. I'll keep you safe. Maybe. Maybe is good enough for me. Now, tea time. Mind brewing some? Sure thing, boss. Which tea would Renee prefer? Well, she should like black spicy tea. Strong classic. Don't know how to feel about her. Time will tell. I'll watch closely. Yeah, she's her friend. She seems curious, smart, and kind. It's nice to have someone like that around. Bring right up. I have a similar one in my office. No good investigator should be without one. You just moved in? Don't live here. It's my safe space. Where are we? Docks. Not the most picturesque part of the city, but at least it's hard to find. Black tea, nice. Don't burn your tongue. Way ahead of you. Ow. So, the case. We need to figure out what happens to that flesh. Did you see the Starling Cider delivery truck in the by alley? Uh, yeah, and I had to dig around. You think what I'm thinking? The truck smuggles the flesh away? No, I'm thinking what I'm thinking. The glass of Starling Cider would be nice right now? The truck smuggles the flesh away, right. Where are you going with this? What if I told you it's not a real Starling Cider van? Why bother making a fake? That was my question before. I've seen it a few times while researching the bite, but I guess now we know. I just know it's a fake. I love the pear cider. Don't. Pear cider. Don't judge me. And the logo just didn't look right. Up close, the colors were off too. So where does it deliver to after the bite? Well, luckily there are people you can pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know it delivers a similar in Gastown. But not exactly. No, my informant tracked it to the main commercial block, then lost it. But I figured out that it spends the night in the bite alley before going to Gastown the next day. So it'll be in Gastown tomorrow. Yep. You just figured out exactly where to live as an investigator. We have to learn where that flesh goes. I already know where to look. There are many shops. Look for where Starling is stocked. It's a fake truck, but the right flesh will probably sell it to avoid suspicion. That'll help you narrow things down. And if it doesn't, we need to check either way. It's the only lead we have. We don't want to wait until the next time. I'm not sure it's safe. The only thing to fear is for yourself. You can do this. Marissa could be tracking me. You already compromised your safety. What's the point in stopping now? You got nothing to lose. So you have to call him on. Not judging the phone's right there. Arrange a taxi to gas town while you're at it. Got a man for that. Be right back. Okay. A butcher shop right in downtown Granville. Ugh. Don't think I could go back there if I tried. I feel like I should know which ape this is, but I'm drawing a blank. It's probably one of the top dogs. It doesn't narrow it down very much. Renee's got her own investigation board set up. At least one of us is organized. I'm waiting the case. I wonder what her editor is like. Yeah, keep smiling. I'm coming for you, you monster. Prominent family leader's death ruled as tragic accident. The renowned patriarch is mourned by his closest family, brother Clements and daughter Clarissa. Yeah, I don't buy it. Ooh, what's this? Hmm, noodles. Maybe I should... No, stay focused. Eyes on the prize, Howard.
Hello? Okay, this is Detective of Low Tour. Sorry to call so early. Mr. Lauder? My husband didn't come home tonight. Did you see him? I'm not sure how to put it. I'm sure, if there's nothing worse than I've imagined, so please, Mr. Lauder, put me out of my misery. Oh, man, I don't know. Oh, no. I, oh. Listen, you should file a missing person report. Oh, oh, Shepard. Please, just try to move on with your life. Is he, is he not coming back? No, I'm sorry. I have to go. But please wait. All right, uh, Mom. Go to residence. Hey, Mom. Shush. How you doing, Mom? Don't call for weeks. Then you want to know how it's going at 5 in the morning? Sorry, I've been busy. Work and all that. Won't work. You need money. I have a paper job done, remember? Sure, job. I just worry about you. What do you need, then? I don't need anything. I'm fine. Now that you're here, maybe you can help me. I keep seeing those damn spiders under the bed. Spiders, huh? Big ones? Huge. I'm not panicking. But where are they coming from? You take a look for me because... Sure, I'll call you in a week or two. Busy. But you always are. It's fine. Luckily, I still have your father around to look. Take care of your old, loving mother. Mom, I love you. Oh, how I love you, too. Don't skip breakfast and stop smoking. Bye-bye, baby. Totally. I know who it is. I called you. Is that Howie? What do you need this early? You want breakfast in bed? Haha. <laughs> you free today? For you, always. What's hanging? Haha, <laughs> it's a pear or a peach. Um, what am I, what's I saying? Put me up at today at 9. I'm paying for the day. You bet. Howie and Tolly, the dynamic duo of detective by partners. Crime lords, beware. Natalie, please murder us clothes on. You the boss. Big day pay? I'll wear a tiny hat if you want. You at your place? No. One second. Renee, what's the address? Tell them to pick you up outside 1640 Alberni Street. It's a block away from here. Thanks, Tolly. 1640 Alberni, you know it? Yeah, in the docks. Wait, Howie, who's Renee? Who is she? Tell you later. Can't wait. Gotta run. The uh, poopy lad is getting cranky. Dead life. Drive you soon. You gotta call. Yeah. I didn't really lie. He said he wasn't coming, but he wasn't coming back. Okay, so start with the truck. Find where it's going. Call me during and after. I'll write to a number, my number in a minute. Also, who's Odette? What should I do when I find where it's going? Our goal is to confirm if it's smuggling flesh out of the bite and to where or to whom. Anything you learn, report to me. Got it. I need a nap. Stay here for as long as you want. This place is my little secret. I'll go home now and meet you back here later at night. Sure, speak to you later. Bye, Howard. Be careful out there. Goodbye, Renee. So, what's the case? No, I can't tell you, but this one could make a difference, I think. Ooh, we love that for you. Time you stamped your name on the world. H O W A R D. What about my name? And the name of your partner is stamped just underneath it. T O L Y. Here we are. Gastown. Shepherd Almighty. What a swanky place. Books can be deceiving. Doesn't apply to me. You go on and bother, folks. I'm going to get some quality and Natalie chill time. Where's your truck coming? We'll see. Kick back in the meantime. It'll be here before you know it. Bring a magazine or a paper while you're at it. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. It's so hot. I'm so lazy. Tell me. All right. We are in Gastown. All right. This is episode one of this game. I'm going to stop here for now. But we're going to get back to this next episode. Yeah. So, like you saw, hit subscribe, hit the like button. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.